Hello and welcome back to uh, the module two of Google Certified Educator Level One. In today's module, final version of module two, we will look at an app called as Forms. Now I've been a big fan of Google Forms from the day they've been introduced. And Forms are good because you could have, you would sometimes you might need a survey in the school, like if you introduce some kind of a course uh, in the school and you want to take a parent's consensus on it. Uh, it's a good way of doing it. You could have like a feedback survey on how the school is performing, how the teachers are performing. You could have anonymous surveys. Sometimes you need people to anonymously vote for something which you feel can be a little controversial. You could also have an exit entry survey, exit and entry survey like for example, you were having some kind of a training organized from the teacher. So you could have a survey taken before the training and after the training, which is called as entry and exit survey. So quite a lot of uses. Sometimes a lot of people get confused in sheets and forms. Now forms are used to collect the data for you in form of, uh, you know, a front end application, which looks like a form. What survey does is survey stores the contents of the filled form. So form is a good tool for surveys and sheet is a good tool to analyze the data filled in the form, like analyzing the trends and all. So let's look at how to create forms. We will look, we will cover up all these five pointers here. The first one we need to do is create a quiz with three questions and answer keys. Remember a quiz is different from form. A normal form a normal form has only questions like survey there are no right answers but a quiz has questions and the right answers which we call it as answer keys so let's jump in forms.google.com if you type on your browser opens up the new google form tool we click on a blank quiz now as soon as you click on a blank quiz uh, this comes up on the screen so here what we would do is we would name it as colors quiz and we will create a quiz with three questions uh, with regards to colors and uh, leave answers for it in form of answer please so what is the color of mango okay and out here i would give options as green orange red and yellow now as a teacher i know yellow is the right answer so what i could do is click on answer key specify the answer you could leave an answer feedback that You could leave a feedback and what you could do is specify different points for the question now suppose you feel this question is difficult it's so probably you could give two points to it if you thought this question is uh, you know easy you could just give one point there so let's give two points here and click on done let's make this uh, question as required that the students cannot skip it and let's make quickly a copy of the first question by clicking on duplicate here. So what it does is it gives you the same title and the choices and here because the color of apple is red I can go on answer key and I could specify red as the right answer and give it one point. Now similarly, the final option, we will add what is the color of okay, so let's uh, give uh, banana. Okay. 
again we know the answer is yellow so we click on yellow i want to give for this question three points i click on done and that's your quiz it's completed now if you wish to share this quiz with your parents what you would do is click on send and type the group suppose we had the group created grade one and send it to the parents by clicking on send so that was the first thing as to how do you create a quiz with the answer key now let's understand the form options here okay along with results in separate spreadsheet let's understand that now if i click on these settings here in the top right corner understand that what are these settings here now restrict users to the organization means that in order to uh, you know solve the quiz or attempt the quiz you need to have all the users of that same organization right and along with this if you click on this then it will collect the email addresses also of all the users who are attempting the the quiz you could also go on presentation you can have an option of shuffle questions order if you wish to do that or if you go on quizzes uh, you could you know have these all checked in so because this is a quiz by default it comes in you know like this what you could also do is click a button like limit to one response so what this does is this prevents the users from resubmitting it again and again so those were the form options for you you could uh, uh, you know have a look at it now if i click on preview and i solve this for example and what i'll do is i'll deliberately enter a wrong answer here and i click on submit so you see that the quiz gets auto graded which is great as a teacher because then you don't need to correct the multiple choice questions you know all the time and uh, what you could also do is you could have different types of questions created here or for you like a short answer paragraph check boxes drop down you know you could try them you know at your convenience these options a very important thing what you have to understand here is is how would you collect the results in a spreadsheet because right now what's happening is when you fill up the quiz all the responses are coming in here sir but suppose you want responses created in a spreadsheet separately so you need to click on responses here click on this icon of create spreadsheet give it a name and create now what happens is now as soon as you do that it creates a google sheet for you automatically wherein it shows you the time stamp what time the test was attempted what was the score the child got and what was the answers he submitted now out here we didn't create a question with with the student name so if you would have done that then you could or uh, you know have that also collected so probably uh, you could just take click and drag this right on the top and just have a question enter what is your name and you name it as a short answer right there is no answer key needed for this because this is just a general question and you can make it as a required question here so that was your first part of creating three uh, you know uh, pointers here like creating a quiz understanding the form options and collecting results in a separate spreadsheet
Now let's go ahead and create one more form in which we embed a YouTube video and we ask a question related to that video. This is a very good way of actually understanding whether the student is going through the entire video or not. And you can reiterate that learning by asking him questions which are from the video itself. So you would again go on forms.google.com. This time you would click on blank form or you could click on blank quiz also, it doesn't matter. So you could change the settings basically whether you want sometimes you make a mistake so you could change from the settings and convert it into a survey or quiz itself so here we would say a youtube quiz the heading now once that is done we will click on a link here add video okay so as soon as i click on that youtube opens up here itself and i will Enter digestive system. We we'll just click on, you know, the video, and we'll give it a name as digestive system. And then what we will do is ask a question related to this video is what is the length of digestive system so here we would give it as 10 feet 20 feet oh sorry instead of other we'll just forty feet and you can specify the answer. So I think the answer is 30 feet. I could leave a feedback, provide points for the right answer. Click on done. Now remember in settings, as I was telling you uh, uh, before settings, if you click on preview, it gives you the preview of the form. So the child can click on the video, play the video from here itself. Select the answer, click on submit. Okay. He can view the score also. Now, out here, did you see submit another response? If you want to prevent him from submitting another response, I had shown you earlier, you go on settings and you click on limit to one response. So, this form, what I want to do is collect his email, restrict that this quiz can be only given by the school student. Disallow edit after submit and not allow him to see the summary chart and text responses. So we keep this unchecked. So when you go on presentation, you can shuffle the questions order, you can show the progress bar. In confirmation, confirmation message, you can type, well done. Also, let's try and thank you for, thank you for submitting the quiz. So remember, this is very good uh, if you want to add personalized confirmation message. So you need to go on presentation and do that. Click on save. And if you wish to send this to the entire group, click on send. This time what you can do is click on this link. So that gives you the form link itself. Click on shorten URL. Right click on the form. And you could go on your email and type compose an email. And you could send. You can draft the mail and send it to the respective grade. And click on send. So that's it. That was Google Forms, one of the most interesting part. Uh, app of uh, Google uh, G Suite for Education and I just love it. All the teachers love this and this was my perception of uh, making it very easy for you to understand how Google Forms work.
thank you everyone and i will see you in the next video